in Berlin's Maximilian Thiel kicks us off this week, pulling his side back to within a goal in the Capital Club's crunch match against Braunschweig. It's a cheeky and very cool finish from the 24-year-old with the outside of his boot, earning him a first goal of the season, but it was of no use to his side in the end. They were ultimately beaten 3-1 by Eintracht, and it looks like they can wave goodbye to their Bundesliga promotion dream. Fourth place goes to Christian Gidtke of 1860 München. The Dane broke the deadlock shortly before half-time with his second goal of the season, and it was a crucial one for the Munich Lions in their fight to stay alive, as you can tell by the celebrations. They ended up 2-1 winners in their trip to Dynamo Dresden, and this clever fake and finish put 1860 on the path to victory. Heading our top three, it's Karlsruhe's Jan with an 89th minute winner against Kreuterfurt. It's Arjen Robben-esque the way he darts past the defenders and curls the ball in off the far post to earn his already relegated side some face-saving points and it's not a bad way to score your first goal for your club either. We'll let you decide whether Bochum's Selim Gunas meant this or not, but his cross-come shot is still special enough to earn this week's runner-up spot. The fact it was a late equaliser as Bochum drew one all with Bielefeld makes it all the more special. Pinpoint accuracy or sheer luck, either way, it's one heck of a goal. The best goal of match day 32 was scored in Dusseldorf, but it's Würzburg's Lukas Freda who hammers home in the 85th minute. Michael Rensing in the Fortuna goal hasn't got a hope in the world with that hit, the sweetest of connections to put his side ahead late on, but relegation threat and kickers still remain without a win in 2017 as they ended up drawing one all. <laughs> 